Pond is yours, you simply bird. What's good in the neighborhood? What's the word on the curb? Basically, how you doing? What you got going on today? All that was good stuff, etc., etc. But look, man, today, well, first, y'all peep, you know what I'm saying? I'm closer right here, so I can put the video right here in the, uh, when I edit, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I'm close enough over, and hopefully, y'all can see me enough. I think y'all should. And yeah, but that's beside the point. Look, man, today, um, it's currently 7.35 p.m., you know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to do a video today, even though I planned on doing it. But then I started getting a headache and all that. But then, as the headache started going down, I was like, yeah, I gotta get, I have to get something out, you know what I'm saying? And this morning, I had seen, um, I didn't watch the video, but I typed in, because I didn't, I, I, I couldn't really find nothing that was, like, really popping, you know what I'm saying? And then I typed in YouTube basketball, uh, YouTube basketball, you know what I'm saying? And the first thing that popped up was this new video that came out five days ago called Official YouTuber Basketball Awards, Mid-2020 Edition. And, um, yeah, we just gonna see what's, what's happening with it. Um, if somebody gets put in the category and I don't know too much about that person, like I haven't watched enough of their videos, then I'm, I'm more than likely not gonna comment on them, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's somebody I know you know what I'm saying? But if I don't know them or if they just haven't played enough, then I'm probably not going to comment. But yeah, let's get straight into it. The video is 8 minutes and 41 seconds. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, SK, a.k.a. The B-Ball Room. And now today, I'm going to be giving out the official mid-year 2020 YouTuber Basketball Awards. I'm going to be giving out a lot of the awards the NBA gives out, plus a couple of my own awards that I just came up with. So be sure to stay tuned, see where your favorite YouTubers land. Make sure to tag them in this video. Hopefully, we can shake the community like PoloFi. That was my inspiration for making this video's list did back in the day a couple months ago. Hopefully, we can shake the community. Hopefully, we can get a couple reactions out of this. Let's see what they think. But anyways, man, let's get straight into the video. Yeah, good. Cash and play already, man. So for the first award, we've got Defensive Player of the Year, Cash Nasty. All right, so as y'all know, Cash I will I will say Cash uh, 2020, Defensive Player of the Year. You know what I'm saying? How many games have you played 2020? I, I know it's some games I haven't watched. But for the most part, Cash has played a, quite a few games in 2020 so far. And YouTube-wise, he's amongst, like, the top defenders so yeah that's fair cash nasty has been evolving into his hooper hooper form and god i hate that word that's the last time i'm gonna say that so next time i hear someone say hooper 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 hoopist whatever they're catching this one two mayweather combo anyway <laughs> man cash has hall of fame clamps he locks people up people will always try to like speed by him They'll put moves on him. They'll try to throw the ball between his legs, whatever. But he always recovers. He works hard on defense. And low key, and this month he actually got that LeBron Game Seven type block on Blake. So you got to give Cash his credit for defense. It's the best part of his game. He's been improving a lot, especially on defense. He's gotten quicker, and obviously he's a big body, so he's very strong. He's a certified member of Big Body Brand, like I said. So Cash Nasty can definitely lock people up. So Defensive Player of the Year is Cash Nasty. Next up, we got most improved player flight react. Most improved. All right, yeah. so before y'all come at me in the comments roasting me, watch flight a year ago versus now. I'm not saying I mean, he's some sort of demi guy. There's not really a lot of YouTubers that I actually know and watch that um that either were not good or not that good that's made a big improvement other than flight. You know what I'm saying? And like I said in plenty of videos that I've reacted to of flight. Um, even though it's few of him playing basketball, his improvement goes more towards him using what he was taught, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, it's not more of skill because he still does, like, he's skill-wise, he still has a long way to go before it's just like, oh, he's just so much different. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the moves that he's taught that he's actually applied. You know what I'm saying? It just goes to show that flight like actually listen you know what i'm saying that's good but yeah i would for sure give him most improved player he got now or anything like that but he can at least dribble and shoot and keep some games yeah. close this dude flight was so ass a year ago bro he looks like another player now i'm proud of you Flight. i'm proud of see he just over exaggerating <laughs> what did i just say he's over exaggerating flight was so ass a year ago and now he's a new player he's not a new player against Against three foot players, 
you will still see Flight go towards the free throw line and throw a Kareem. Against three foot players, you will still see Flight grab a rebound, go to the three point line on a three foot player and shoot it instead of bodying him. Flight's not a new player. He's just applying what he was taught. You know what I'm saying? If Flight was a new player, you would he would if Flight actually made a crazy just different improvement, I don't think Flight would play the same just because like the the knowledge that he would gain from like his, like the mistakes he made. You know what I'm saying? Like like you don't I don't know. I I'm I don't know. Flight is different, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, it's totally different what I would do if I was in flight shoes and I made an improvement versus what flight would do cuz I don't know what he'll do. So I'm going to just stop and say this. He's not a new person. Same person. Same person. Part of you, Flight. That is why Flight's the most improved player. People were hating, saying, like, Flight didn't improve in June or whatever, this and that. That's cap. Flight improved in June for sure, and he's definitely improved in 2020 versus 2019. You can't tell me otherwise. Just watch how ass this man was before. Now he's not terrible at basketball. He can at least keep games close. He can keep competition and all that. Now so remember, like you're the most improved. We're player. keeping it all. Right, all. So for the next award, we have the best female hooper, and that award goes to no one other than Bree Green. All right, so I don't have too much to say for real. We're Just keeping Bree, this YouTube she's based. She's definitely a hooper. Right. There's nothing else to say. She got handles, solid jumper. Yeah, yeah, I feel like she could low key be in the Colchons. WNBA if she really wanted to. She probably just doesn't want to. She'd rather do YouTube or whatever, something don't like that. The Maybe there's a story. You guys, let me know down in the comments if I'm missing something. I'm not really sure, but I feel like she could definitely be in the WNBA. She's definitely solid. She dropped off Flight and McQueen. So the best female hooper is Bree Green. All right. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Just by looking at who's next and what it says, get the hell out of here. Please get out of here. Look, let me say this real quick and then I'm going to get on this. Saying Brie Green dropped off Flight and McQueen and then after that, well, no, saying that she deserves being a WNBA and then after that you follow, you follow up by saying she beat Flight and McQueen, that's not something to be proud of. Even though she's good, regardless, like, like I just said, she's good. I'm not saying she can't be in the WNBA, but if I was her, I wouldn't want to hear. She'd be Flight McQueen. So, yeah, she's, she's good. Mm, thanks, but no thanks. Now to this. Best new hooper, Polo 5. Polo is dog shit, if I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? He literally only has one IRL basketball video based like that I know of. And he's the best new hooper on YouTube. No. If anybody, it's Amari Frost. Amari Frost just started YouTube, like, uh, I think this year, I think. If not this year, then like December of last year. And Amari Frost is heck of better than Polo. I'm better than Polo. I just don't have a K. Like, 1K or more, you know what I'm saying? My phone has stopped recording. I'm back. Now I'm finna see what he gotta say. Uh. The next award is Best New Hooper, and that award goes to Polo5. Now, if y'all remember, Polo5 definitely shook the whole 2K community with his YouTuber basketball rankings. He's been blowing up ever since. Yeah. I expected him to be ass at basketball. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought he'd upload an IRL. I thought he would be straight up buns at basketball. I'm not gonna lie. But he impressed me. He could kind of hoop. I almost put Kenny, but he's not really new, to be honest. So, I'm going with Polo5. This person talking sucks at basketball. I can guarantee it. He surprised you. This dude's... I know he's buns. You're the best new hooper. All right, so congratulations to Mopey. You are officially the worst hooper on all of YouTube. Mopey, I respect the grind, big fella. But let me keep it 100% real with you. Basketball is just not the sport for you. I'm sure you would be a, a fantastic player. golfer. I'm sure you would be a terrific tennis player. I'm sure you'd probably be a stupendous bowler. But basketball is not the sport for you, Moby. Pick another sport. He, maybe you will be the best IRL player in the community. He's a soccer but right player, now, you are the so worst IRL basketball player. Don't, don't, Congratulations. He's a soccer player. All right, so the most awaited debut on YouTube, maybe ever, in any community. We have Mr. Zero and Zero, number three himself, your age. Your rage has definitely got length. He's very long. That'll let him get inside easier. Wait, hold on. Does that sound sus? God, get, pause on that one, bro. Don't. I'm going to have to edit that shit out of the video. Anyways, bro. 
Your age is definitely going to be a solid so hooper when he starts playing these YouTubers. Crap. I think he's going to be dropping them off and everything. He's been talking crazy, so I can't wait to see him hoop for real. But obviously, from these clips and everything, he definitely looks like a solid hooper. I'm just saying, the most awaited debut on YouTube is going to be me if you guys help me blow up. Because I cannot wait to start dropping off these YouTubers if I ever get big, bro. I'm giving every single one of these YouTubers to work 11-0 on this list. I'm winning the MVP of my own awards in 2021. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so the next award is the Sportsmanship Award. And that award is going to Flight Reacts. And you know why that award is going to Flight Reacts? You guys might not know what I'm talking about. Flight Reacts will get dropped off 11-0, and he will still show respect. He won't show any emotion. He'll go. I'm going to be honest. I will give that award, that award, well, he's probably going based off like 1v1s and stuff. If he's just going based off basketball YouTubers in general, I would give that to Bawadis. Because Bawadis, it don't matter how bad he get beat, how bad the person roughing him up and all that good stuff. Bawadis will always shake your hand, say good game, have a full on closing out of the video with you. And then like he like he pretend like y'all, like nothing ever happened. You know what I'm saying? Even if y'all getting, like him and Kaz, like they was getting real physical, start mouthing off to each other from time to time. At the end of the game, should get off. Yeah, man, you good. Like, like kept professional you know what i'm saying so i would honestly give that award to bawadis go dap the other guy up i couldn't do that i'm gonna be honest i try to be a good sport but when i get dropped off like that man i'm leaving the gym immediately i'm embarrassed to be there shout out to flight reacts for showing love no matter what so flight reacts here's your sportsmanship award congratulations all right for the no sportsmanship award ddg now this man ddg will try to start beef for views for literally no reason. Like, I have no idea why this dude is beefing people half the time. Always something comes out of his 1v1s. I don't even have nothing else to say. This award goes to DG. All right, congratulations to Lil TJ. You are the worst rapper I have ever seen at Hoop. <laughs> I haven't seen him play. For the best rapper at hooping, we've got Polo G. Now, Polo G can hoop a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I mostly just gave him this award because he was like the only rapper who hooped this year. Why are you giving people awards if you're just handing them out? If you give somebody an award, if you give somebody an award, it has to have meaning behind it. You know what I'm saying? He literally just said he's the only rapper who hooped this year. That's why he gets this award. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you gotta, you gotta give somebody an award, and it has to have meaning, and it has to actually be realistic. You know what I'm saying? Now this video is just, he's just making this video just for it to be longer. I'm already kind of, like, not liking the video so far just because of where people are placed, why they're placed. Like, Mopey. Like, Mopey is a soccer player, and he's clowning them. Like, Mopey's a soccer player. Come on, now. Polo 5. One basketball game, and he's the best new Hooper. Like, this dude has no meaning. Uh, he has a little bit of a game. He has a little bit of a handle. I want to see him play more comp than DDG. I mean, DDG is a little bit trash. I'm not going to lie. I rock with your DDG, but basketball is not your sport, my man. DDG Shout out to Polo G. He's been making pure bangers and everything. His Even album one DDG of the top five albums good. of the year for sure. He would be Polo T Jazz, you have the best handles on YouTube, and you get the best handles award. Now, before y'all D writers come at me in the comments like Bone Collector, Professor, man, yeah. shut up. Bone Collector and Professor are literally professional ball handlers. Pause. But anyways, man, T Jazz easily has the best handles on YouTube, and he's an actual YouTuber, unlike Bone Collector and Professor. This wasn't even a competition. Anyone who's arguing, see, now this dude's just get saying he's an actual YouTuber, unlike Bone Collector and Professor. So they just have a YouTube for no reason, man, and they actually upload videos for no reason, man. Even though they're not actual YouTubers. Now I don't watch them a lot. But I'm subbed to them, so I always get notified when they post a new video. And let me tell you, they I get notified a lot about them, especially the professor. But because T Jazz mainly hoops with YouTubers, it's different. And because he's not a professional dribbler, this dude's an idiot. Clearly so, hasn't watched T Jazz idiot. play. T Jazz can handle the rock, he can shoot. T Jazz has the best handle. I'm gonna say him simple. So I'm the best shooter on YouTube is Kenny Chow. Kenny Chow definitely has a strap. He's pretty new to YouTube, but he's got that point guard passage. He can shoot. He can handle the ball. He's definitely the best shooter on YouTube, in my opinion, right now. His only competition is DeFriga, but I put DeFriga in another category, which you guys are about to find out. So the all YouTube first team, the positions are pretty random, so don't come at me about that at point. T, pretty random. 
you got people at positions that they shouldn't even play. Duke Dennis, the tallest out of all of them, but cash is center. I really don't want to finish out this video. I am, though. I'm going to send this person doing this video the link to this video just so he can see how bad he sounds. Like, because I, 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 let me think. What grade was I in? I was in first grade when I started, like, playing basketball seriously. First grade. I always played basketball, but first grade is when I took it serious and started playing basketball, like, in, like, like for, like, a team. You know what I'm saying? So, basketball is, like, what I grew up wanting to do. When you find something that you love and you want to do when you're young, that's what you're going to want to do when you get older. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I always want to do basketball until about after 10th grade because I played high school ball for 10th grade, got injured, and then I stopped. And then after that, I just go out and play, but I didn't take it serious like that no more. So I actually, like, know a little, I know somewhat about basketball to an extent. You know what I'm saying? But this dude, it sounds like he's just an idiot who don't know about basketball. He was one of the dudes that was on the sideline recording people play basketball because he couldn't play for himself. He just seemed like somebody that sucks. So somebody who actually knows, I'm going to say him this so he can see this so he can actually get some information. Just so he knows. Like, come on, dude's an idiot. He's pissing guard, me off. We've got Tristan Jazz, great ball handler, wow. great all-around offensive player. Shooting guard, we got Jay Jones, obviously just a great offensive player again. <laughs> I'm Small so pissed, forward, boy, I'm Dennis, you, I'm very pissed. athletic, good shooter, great all-around player. Power forward, Devante Fraga, the most Fraga. complete player on all of YouTube, just an absolute beast. And at center, we've got Cash Nasty, very improved player. I almost put him for most improved player. But he does make the all YouTube first team. Remember, this is for 2020, Cash not ever. Cash Nasty's posted a lot of basketball in 2020. So that's why I put him on there. By no means is he the fifth best player on YouTube or anything like that. Just for this year alone, he has played the fifth best. Now the MVP, easy choice, undefeated in 2020, dominant, Devontae Fraga. Devante so there's not even too much I have to say. He's, he's cold. He's monster. just on another level right now. Dominant Division hey. 3 Hooper. He's been just killing every single YouTuber, dropping everyone off this year. All I'm saying though, 2021 MVP on this list, that's going to be me. Because as soon as this list goes off, I'm dropping all y'all YouTubers off. That's all I'm saying. For all you Hello. YouTubers who's watching this, for anyone... Drop me off. Drop me off. Even though you probably wouldn't have a chance to because, first of all, you probably wouldn't get the chance to know where I'm at. Because I don't really tell people where I'm located. I don't do all that. But if you tell me where you located, and based off that, if I give you the answer like, nah, not in reach, then that means it's not happening. But I, bro, I will bet everything I own, like my computer, my phone, my game, every my every clothing I have, I will bet you everything. You would not beat me for you will not beat me. Say we going to eleven, you what? You ain't getting more than three two points. No cap. I'm so serious. I can tell by the way you talking that you probably just suck so bad, bro. Like for real. And if you end up actually being good when you post something, okay, cool. Still not beating me. I'm not worried about nobody. Now, I'm not going to be so cocky and be like, oh, yeah, the one thing free, I'll just blow you out. No, because I actually got common sense. I can I can see and tell when I know I can't beat somebody. And Devontae Frigga, that's somebody who I would have to go crazy to try and beat, even though I probably wouldn't beat him. He, he played Division 1, 2, or 3. I don't know which one, but he played one of them for a reason. You get what I'm saying? Like, this dude just speaking nonsense. Anyone who was offended by my list, hit the comments, hit my DM so I can know who the first YouTuber I'm going to drop off is. I don't care where you're at. Just let me know. Let me know a court. Let me know a location. Let me know a date. I will pull up and drop you off instantly. Nothing else I need to say. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. All jokes aside, that is the award so far. I'll do another one at the end of the year. Maybe I'll make some, like, seasons or something like that. I'll come up with an idea. You guys comment below what you guys want me to do next. As always, if you're new to the channel, drop a subscribe to join BBR Nation. Drop a like on the video for the algorithm. But for today, man... I'm done this now. Let me, let me see how much it is going, bro. Like... Do I have to start playing people? Even though I ain't got a lot of subs, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? And for some reason, well, I get it because, like, when you looking for the best YouTubers who do this and that, it be the ones that do it, but they, like, actually have a fan base. And I guess I don't have one since I only got 100-something. But do I have to start playing people 1v1 so y'all can realize that people like Polo 5 shouldn't be on the list? 
people like this dude talking about he can beat anybody, shouldn't be, like, shouldn't even be talking. Like, that's why when, like, like I said in the first um, Polo 5 video I react to, when they brought up Devontae Frigga, Kick Genius was like, Devontae Frigga was nice. I will always believe, I, once, he, once they said that, I told myself, I know he's good. Because Kick Genius, they actually know how to hoop. I won't take advice from somebody who don't know how to hoop. Like, not advice, but I won't listen to somebody who don't know how to hoop. And it don't sound like they know what they're talking about. So let me give you an example. Somebody who don't know how to hoop, but I would listen to them because they have a lot of knowledge about basketball. Jidel. Jidel probably, out of all the YouTubers that I watch, he's probably one of the smartest YouTubers when it comes to basketball. And I would listen to him. But he can, he's not good in basketball. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. No shade at Jadell. I still rock with you. But look, this guy doesn't sound like he's good. Doesn't sound like he knows nothing. Like, he just pissed me off just watching this video. I'm happy I watched it though. You gave me a video. I appreciate that. That's the only thing you did for me. Other than that, you suck. Alright? See? Post, post, um, post highlights. Literally, go outside if you got a hoop. Go outside. Go on your hoop. Shoot around, do dribbles, and I promise, based off that, I'll be able to tell if you can hoop or not. Honestly, if you if you actually have a background of basketball, you can tell based off the simple stuff if somebody can hoop. They don't, it don't have to be a defender in front of you. You can tell based off simple stuff if somebody can hoop. And when I say hoop, I don't mean like, oh, I can't dribble, but I can shoot. No, I'm talking about hoop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can tell by simple stuff if you can hoop. Just go outside. If you got a goal, just go outside. Shoot on the goal. Do dribbles. You know what I'm saying? Show off the vert. Like, just do that. And I, I, I'll see if you can hoop or not. Let me know if you have a basketball background. If I'm spitting facts right now. Because I think I am. Because I have a basketball background. This dude's an idiot. He's pissed me off. I don't even feel like doing this no more. So, I'm going to end this video before I talk y'all ear off. Like, just call it bullcrap. And we out. Thumbnail, alright? Thumbnail.